Hi, today we have new video review with fresh release from Zouki Mura. As you can see, it's another Dornier 335A0. Uh, and of course, this kit is model molded in 132nd scale. Uh, this model was expected a long time before. Uh, I mean, it was announced like uh, two years almost. Ago. So now we have it here in the box uh, and here you can see that it's quite a huge box. Uh, on the front side we have this nice box art. Uh, then on the side of the box we have some information about the model. Unfortunately it's written in Japanese. Nevertheless here we have some safety advices in English. And from the other side, it's quite heavy box by the way. From the other side there are um, another, let's say, uh, mention of the features of this kit. Nevertheless, it's still written in Japanese, so we won't be able to understand it. Uh, this is a top opening box. Just give me a second to open it. <clears throat> and as you can see, the package looks like this. So there is a, a thick cardboard box, which should ensure uh, proper condition of the kit when it will arrive to you after some rough shipment of or to avoid possible damage. Uh, here it is. So even though uh, manufacturer was uh, only considering, let's say, the possibility of transparent panels on the model, they are included into this kit. So you can assemble uh, all inner structure elements and you shouldn't be afraid that all this beauty will be hidden inside. Uh, let's start with spruce, go one by one as usual and we will see if this is an interesting kit or not. So, the first plastic sprue is dedicated to the large fuselage panels. Just give me a second, I will remove the box out of the mat. Now we can continue. So here we have a uh, fuselage uh, house. As you can see, those are transparent ones. Of course, uh, you can paint them uh, if you would like to, but as I said, I would rather um, leave one of the panels as transparent so that uh, all inner components will be visible through it. As you can see, it's not fully transparent panel because it's uh, it features some, let's say, matte glazing. And here you can see that it's even not possible to see the mud uh, behind it. It's, let's say, a bit muted, frozen view. Uh, here also we have some panels for the uh, rear engine. And here as well some top coatings, um, landing gear bay doors and some other parts. Inside, as far as you can see, uh, there is uh, some, let's say, structure elements. And of course it will benefit from some careful painting, because detailing in this model is not a problem, let's say. Uh, next we have big plastic sprue, I mean the same size, but this time it's dedicated to the wing parts. Just give me a second to open it. All screws are packed into the sealed plastic bags, so that's why it's a bit difficult to open the bags. Nevertheless, here we are, and now we can check another plastic screw, which is also huge. Mm. And the plastic is quite thick, I would say, so that parts are quite durable. Uh, as you can see, wings are divided into mm, two halves, top and bottom one. Both feature recess panel lines and riveting. Uh, of course, flaps and ailerons are molded separately. Here you can see them. So I guess there will be possibility to drop them down. And also you can see here the top house feature uh, landing gear wheel wells de detailing. Nevertheless, I think there will be also some separate parts for the assembly of this uh, part of the airplane. Next we have another plastic spruce. Just give me a second. Uh, 
and here we have uh, several spruce packed together so those are canopy and tail fairing elements so just give me a second to open them As you can see, it's a bit difficult to open these bags. I would rather prefer <coughs> typical sealed, I mean, uh, Ziploc bags, which are easier to open. And you can store the spruce bag after opening. Nevertheless, Zoki Mori decided to choose this one. So, again, I need a second to open this part. Okay, so here we are, <coughs> we have one piece canopy, as you can see here, uh, those parts look nice, and after some careful, let's say, masking, you can get a really good uh, appearance. Then we have another plastic screw, <coughs> this one is bigger, uh, here we have some canopy elements here, for example, we have tail fairing parts. For example, here you can find uh, air intake and also some cooling parts. So as you can see, we have here cooling flaps and also you note know, the small transparent dashboard. Here you can see. It. I think it will be possible to assemble it uh, with help of decals, but we will see it further in the review. Next plastic sprue is also transparent. Here we can find parts for the wing roots, landing gear panels and some other minor external components. So just give me a second to open it. Here it is. So as I said here we have for example the front cooling panels. Here there are one and two. Uh, then here are the wing roots, landing gear doors, and that's pretty much all. I mean, those parts should be used for the air intake. Note that it should be assembled out of two halves. Molding quality is still on the same level, and with some careful assembly, of course, you will get a really nice result. Uh, next, we have gray plastic spruce because this will copy internal elements. So you don't need them to be transparent. And straight away the first one is dedicated to the wings. Here we can find uh, large parts for the replication of the um, inner structure of wings. As you can see those are quite big. And note that attachment points are thick. So you will have to be careful while separating them. Uh, of course here we have also included the tanks, fuel tanks and some other elements which should be installed into the wings. Molding quality is really nice. The only thing to consider is uh, thick attachment points uh, which are not that, let's say, good feature to see in such kit. Nevertheless it, should be, it shouldn't be difficult to cut through them. The only thing you would have to do is carefully separate them and cut them off the screw. Next we have another plastic sprue and here the parts are more connected with mechanical parts so engine, uh, some wires, landing gear system, all those parts are present here. And note that here we have also uh, two propeller hubs uh, which should be used for the rear and front propeller. Note that even the tiniest parts are carefully molded and there is no flesh on them. So it's some nice molding here. Next we have one more grey plastic sprue. And here we have one piece propellers. Of course there are two of them because it's you remember this aircraft had two engines 
and there is also a large part for the air intake. So here they are. I would zoom out the camera for you, and now you can see it. So here are the propellers. Note attachment points which are connected to the blades. Again, not that good because uh, I would rather prefer to see it connected to the center of the propeller, for example here. Uh, here you can see the large air intake part, uh, some engine parts, and another air intake component that should be installed on your model. Note that some elements are molded into the uh, walls, co um, co cockpit walls, so you have to paint them carefully, but not to glue them. <coughs> so, one more plastic sprue is again dedicated to the internal components. Here we can find uh, internal fuel tank and some other extras. Just give me a second. So here it is. Note that the large floor panel, which is molded as a single piece, together with some wiring and some other elements, it's really nice. Uh, here you can see the cockpit uh, part for the side walls. Here is a second option for the dashboard, which is, uh, let's say, a bit simpler than the previous one and features the molded in dials. Uh, then the pilot seat should be assembled out of several parts. Here you can see the main part and here you can see the bells which are molded separately, surprisingly. Uh, and here are the pedals. Those look nice, but of course some others would prefer to replace it with PE. As for the molding quality, it's still okay, but again we have uh, thick attachment points present here and there. <coughs> and I wonder when so Kimura will try to tackle this issue. <coughs> Next we have engines and as in other uh, one thirty second scale model kits. Here the Okimura uses their typical feature and they molded in uh, pistons uh, which are visible inside. So here you can see them. And even though they won't be visible, all modelers consider them as a nice uh, addition. Here you can see all the wirings, ignition wirings for the engines. Uh, note that this is a steel plastic, um, it's not a resin. And everything is molded without any extra flash or other possible issues. So the only thing which will be required from you is to carefully assemble it. Uh, then we have another plastic sprue with the same set of parts. So I guess there is no need to show it. Uh, the last plastic sprue is dedicated to the landing gear. <coughs> Here we have landing gear wheel, wheels as well as landing gear legs. And straight away I have to say that wheels should be assembled from two halves. Which is not that nice for the 30 second scale and I think you will be able to source out some resin alternative for this uh, part of the airplane. So here they are. As you can see, these are designed in very nice quality. Maybe they will be okay for the out-of-the-box build because they have separately molded hubs, which should make uh, painting easier. Nevertheless, for some realistic appearance, you should search for a resin alternative. And here you can see the one-piece landing gear legs. This one is front one. And here you can see the main winding gear legs, which are also designed as one-piece parts. Nothing complex and they look really nice. Uh, next we have assembly manual and decals, which are packed into the same plastic bag. And at least those are secured just by the uh, tape, so that it will be easier to open them. Uh, as in other uh, one thirty second scale model kits from Zokimura, we have here a small mask sheet, which should be useful if you want to get a nice finish on your model. 
Then we have the Gauss sheet. There is no, no, there is a mention that it was printed in cartograph. As you can see, we have here all necessary symbols, even the dashboard decal and some decals for the dials. Stencils are quite, let's say, modest, but the same can be found on in other kits. And assembly manual, of course. Assembly manual is designed in form of this nice manual. Uh, it's even written here, December 1944. Uh, we have this nice photo of the airplane on the first page. Note that everything is, you know, let's say, written in German, even though there is a small translation in English. Uh, then we have some explanation of the airplane structure, some safety advices and then assembly process starts. Note that assembly is divided into several chapters. So for example you assemble separately the cockpit, then you go into the engines, then there is a fuselage, main wings. So it's quite nice, I mean it shows and explains all those features. It's not only Let's say it depicts what you have to do, it also explains why real aircraft featured such uh, architecture, let's say. And here you can see the marking guides, which feature a real model. Of course they are printed in color. And know that there are uh, some options in the assembly manual, so you can, for example, open engine cooling or uh, open the canopy or do some other additions to the uh, finished model. So that's all for the video review. Of course you can check detailed photos and uh, full review article on our website. Uh, if you like this video don't forget to press the like button below and also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group if you want to get all fresh videos and articles on time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.